think the case in Connecticut brought by the Sandy Hook families against Remington Arms is such a landmark case in so many ways for those of us who've been watching. There's a law in place in the United States called PLACA, the Protection of Lawful Commerce in Arms Act. PLACA prevents individuals from suing the gun industry for civil liability for damage caused by their actions. I sue a gun manufacturer for a harm caused to me or my family. The gun industry is going to respond to that litigation by saying, I don't have the right to sue them because of PLACA. In this case in Connecticut, the family argued that it was foreseeable to Remington Arms that this assault style weapon would be used in the way that it was used. They looked at how these guns are being marketed, how they're being sold, what the industry knows and doesn't know and what Remington Arms knows about who's buying these guns. That's gonna be really interesting. I think for many of us watching this issue, we see the way the gun industry and manufacturers market and sell these weapons. We know that they understand that those weapons are going into the hands of individuals who seek to do harm with them, to harm other people, whether it's people underage or even under 21, which is where a lot of these mass shootings happen. And there's no accountability for it. So a lot of these cases are looking at okay, if the industry actually was accountable the way every other industry in this country is accountable, what might that look like? There's actually four states that have now passed laws which create a specific set of responsibilities for gun manufacturers. New Jersey, New York, Delaware, and California. California and Delaware and New York, um, cases can actually be brought by private individuals against the industry in California. The law actually refers to itself around gun manufacturer responsibilities for the industry to behave in a way that takes account for potential harm caused by the product. There were two separate types of damages that were imposed on Alex Jones. One was punitive damages and one was compensatory damages. And the family that brought that litigation against Alex Jones was awarded both in different amounts. People are have no patience for not only gun violence and the failure of the industry to step up and take positive action, but individuals like Alex Jones that are really worsening the situation by denying that these horrific mass shootings have happened in the first place. I have not found most politicians in the U.S., especially at the federal level, look at this issue strictly in the context of the facts and what works. But when it comes to the courts, Really, the facts, it has to speak for itself, is creating this really positive opportunity to have a forum, to have a really specific conversation. Guns have changed. They've become far more lethal. And more importantly, there are so many more assault weapons in private hands in this country than there were a few decades ago. There has to be a commitment to the for the public for all of us everywhere in the country who care about the safety of our children and communities to speak up to get engaged and active to show up to those hearings to make the phone calls to our elected officials we know that americans support regulation in all of these different ways including assault weapons but until they vote that way until they speak out then the politicians think it's it's a passive support and so it needs to become an active support